Hey guys, what's up? It's beautiful outside today, I must say that. Uh, I will be teaching you how to make a GIF without Photoshop, and it's all gonna be for free. Do not fear, I am here. Uh, what you will be needing though, uh, download links will be in the description, but you will be needing KMP player, or KM player, however you pronounce that, Photoscape, and what, these are optional, but Livestream Procaster, or, and, uh, Torch. Torch is, uh, basically another version of Google Chrome, but it has a download button for any music or videos that you watch from a website, which I find very helpful. And Livestream is just if you see a video, you know, like, online, and you want to download it, and you want to make a GIF out of it, but you don't want to actually, like, like download the movie or, or show or whatever, so you just record... The, the, the screen and make a gif out of that it's it's a lot easier i think but the um quality isn't as good so what? no can't get off <laughs> okay uh first let us open up kmp player i just, I just call it kmp player stop meowing cat Nice, let's open. See, it's KM player, but I just like calling it KMP, I guess. Anyway, click the top right. No, I don't want to. Uh, click the top right. Open files, and just whatever movie you want. I just have the have, have these four in here because I'm a big um, big four fan. Uh, so I, I guess I do Brave. Let's uh, let's make a gift out of Brave. Now, as you can see, it, it starts, well, mine starts automatically, but what you want to do is you want to go to the part where you want the GIF to be made, like, the selection of the movie you want GIF to be made out of. Um, let's go to a random part. Oh, I okay, guess that's good. Um, why not, you know? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> if you haven't seen Brave, I totally suggest it. It's, it's a great, pretty funny movie. Ah, uh, cat. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to right click on the screen. It'll bring up these selections. And cat! I'm pulling my headphones! There we go. Okay. Click capture. Or just hover over the selection of capture. And click frame extract. So you click that, and what you want to do is um, automatically it'll create a, f a KMP player folder. But what you want to do is extract it. It's gonna save everything to that file. But what you want to do is select the file that you prefer. Uh, I per per prefer. Mm -hmm. I do new. What do I prefer? I don't know what I prefer. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I remember. So I just selected GIFs folder because that's what I prefer. Um, and then you click start. Now, it doesn't actually start recording just a bunch. This, this is recording the screen capture, the pictures that you're gonna put together. It's not going to capture any frames until you actually start the video. So it's not going to be recording or capturing like 50 million frames while you have it paused. It's only going to start capturing frames until it plays. So I, I just like to drag this off to the side so I don't have to click, do the whole capture frame extract thing again. Uh, but what you do is you play it. And that should actually be playing. Um, Note that, see, look, capt it captured 85 images right here, and the limit for a GIF on Tumblr that I know of is 14, or at least making it this way. So I'm going to have to just select 14 images out of, the eight, out of those 85 to make a GIF for Tumblr, I suppose, just in general. Gonna stop 
and you can start again you can like go to a different selection of the movie and start again you know and capture that and it'll be just fine it'll be in the same folder and everything you want to restart it's pretty useful when you're taking a bunch of or trying to put together a bunch of gifts but since I'm only showing you how to do one we'll just keep it at that so you can just actually just exit out of this out of KMP play or whatever and we're going to use Photoscape now and we open it up but it just does this for me um, this is why you need, you absolutely need KMP player and Photoscape, but, uh, Torch is optional, I can make another video to show you guys how to do that, but, um, what you want to do is you want to go to Animated GIF, and you want to select the folder up in the top left hand corner, all the way over here, so I, GIFs, and see I've recorded over here all of these these are all the 85 images that I recorded from KMP Player. Now, keep in mind that when you record or capture the images from KMP Player, it will automatically make an output folder for this, this thing. Um, I don't know, we're going into too much detail here. So what you want to do is you want to grab 14. So just 3, 6, 9, 12, 1, 2, 14. Click shift and down all the way to the bottom and then the drag these all the way over here and it makes a gift. Ta-da! Here it goes. Um, and this is the time that you can display so I can do like one one hundredth of a second and it'll go really, <laughs> really fast. Uh, but I can also do it really slow, do like hundred of a hundred and it'll just be really super slow but the average time that you want for a video if you want it to be just normal speed is about seven or eight and it's good for me because gifts well I don't know maybe seven it, it really depends on the frame rate captured so seven's good here um you can change the effects uh I prefer I prefer to set it to the first photo size otherwise it might get a bit complicated and uh, just it is sizes really just uh, if you want to get different photos from different places and put them all together I can make a different video for that but let's just keep it simple right now so you want to save this and just it's gonna save it as a gif a gif or however you want to pronounce it that kind of file so let's just do it if it is random it'll save the duh frames you're done so what we want to do is we want to go and just, just see the video, or not video, GIF, we want to see the GIF, it is right here, I don't know what it is, photo, whatever. So we're going to click on it and it's going to, mine autom automatically opens it up into my web browser which is Torch, because I don't know, I just, I like it, most people don't, but I do. So there it is, there's the GIF, um, you can do whatever you want with it, uh, obviously it's not actually on the internet right now, uh, I can actually, no, I, no. sorry, I was listening to dubstep earlier, but we can go to Tumblr, and sometimes I will admit that there are problems with this, but what, what you usually just want to do is photo it can also work with text too but just to make it bigger I prefer photo and find a gif and there it is all nice and pretty if you have a photo editing um, software then you can go in and touch up the details to the gif but I don't know, you can just you can do whatever with it, really. Uh, since it's for only 14 frames, it's it's pretty simple, but if you want to make a really, really long GIF, like 30 frames or something, that's going to take a lot more time to edit. And s such things like that. But, uh, yeah. Oop. I'm with this, guys. Um, I find it very useful because before I actually got Photoshop, 
I, I wanted to make so many gifts, but I just couldn't because I didn't have any money, and I still don't. I actually got Photoshop for free. Uh, there's a story behind that, and I can also teach you guys how to, but uh, I shall not, shall not today. Maybe it depends on how many people actually watch this, but um, yeah. I, I just so I just wanted to make a bunch of gifts and I didn't know how and then I found all this. I actually found it from a friend, so thank you, Stacy. Shout out to you. Um, I don't know why it's taking so long to load, but this is for all you guys and gals that, who do not know how to make gifts and are you don't want to get like pay for the whole Photoshop thing. And yeah, there we go. Oh my god, I have way too much on my dash. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, please do not be afraid to ask me. I am just, I am really just here to help. So just comment and I, I really hope this helped. All right. Bye guys.